I, I was reading that you started the film uh, in your home studio and yeah. before there was picture or before you had much of the picture at least. Yeah. So what was the process like? Where do you begin with uh, a, a, you know, a score like that? It's funny. It was, it was almost, well, no, I wouldn't say accidental because James had just been born. And I didn't want to be that useless father who's like, yeah, I don't really remember anything for the first year because I was too busy working. I kind of said no to everything. And let's see, if James was born in March, I knew I wasn't going to really get going on Grey Man till, let's say, the following December or maybe November. So I didn't want to do anything in between because I just, you know, there was a living, breathing organism in the house that I thought was a bit more important than uh, yeah. music. And so having said no, I was like, you know, I'll just try and change a lot of diapers and be a good dad and whatnot. And that was basically the idea. I don't think I had hugely ambitious plan. It was very accidental what then happened. I think I got a call. Anthony called me. It was Anthony and Joe called. So, hey, Henry. So, listen, I know we're miles ahead. We're just filming. Not expecting anything. We just want to throw something out there. We know you're going to come up with some great gray man thing, which is, uh, I'm not saying I was definitely going to. That's them having potentially <laughs> misplaced confidence in me. Uh, it's like we know that but you know what we were just shooting a scene today that was more to do with an almost emotional ghost in the machine what's wrong with sierra six why he's he's got this trauma background to do with his father and we just want to throw it out there that as well as the stuff i'm sure you're going to come out with the big theme and action textures and whatnot don't forget there's this other thread to do with um introspection and uh, emotional lack of resolution and introversion and whatnot and it just sort of resonated in my head. And I went to the piano and I just came up with this little thing. So I just bunged it on my iPhone. I put the iPhone in record and thought, okay, when it comes to November, I think I got this cool kind of ghost in the machine idea. And after changing, you know, a few diapers and whatnot, I was like, you know what? Let me, I'll, let, let me record that thing properly. You know, I'll get it in the computer, put some nice production on it. So at least I've got this like two and a half minute intro that's like a ghost in the machine idea. So I spent a couple of days on that, really geeking out on the production and doing like backwards reverbs and all kinds of stuff. And I got that sounding nice. And just when I was wrapping it up, I got this percussion sound and started going. Dum, 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 dum. I said, like, oh, that's a good tempo, actually. And I like the 5-4 feel. I'll just, I'll just put that in so I remember that when I come to November. And then I changed a few more diapers. Like, you know what? Let me, let, me, let me go back and take a look at that. Let me figure out what BPM that's at and get a bit of a groove going. And then I started really spending ages on that homemade percussion sound, taking break beats and engineering them really sort of almost kind of like in holiday mode, no deadline or anything. So, you know, spending forever, like it was like record production from the eighties where people would spend like two days just getting a kick drum sound when yeah. everyone had like loads of money and loads of time to do stuff. And I was like, you know what, let me just build like a whole percussion thing. That's really original. It doesn't sound like all the usual kind of big drum Hollywood things that you used to. It's just, I've manufactured, and home created all these, um, you know, very specifically engineered. I was doing a lot of outboard stuff and putting stuff through all this old crappy equipment, you know, and it was a bit like baking something over and over and over again. So, you know, what? I'll just do a quick like two minute kind of demo of all these percussion sounds. I'll leave it at that. I got this cool uh, ghost in the machine theme. Then at least, I, you know, I've got some original percussion sounds. And I was like, well, and then I was fiddling around. I was like, oh, wait a minute. And this bass line kind of emerged. I was like, you know what? Let me just work with this bass line for a bit. <laughs> and it just never ended. It went from a two-minute suite to a four-minute suite to a six-minute suite. And then these chords showed up that was sort of half jazzy and half dangerous sounding. I thought, oh, that could be good for Hanson, which shows up sort of like nine minutes into the... Anyway, this just went on and on. And I kind of lost control of it. It, was, it took over my life. <laughs> and and it, it was like another pregnancy. You know, this thing was sitting in the studio and over like, I mean, normally you haven't got time to spend like six months on a suite. But since I wasn't doing anything until November, I just kept chipping away. I think, okay, when I get to seven minutes, I've got to wrap this thing up. You know, and then this other theme, this big Mancini thing kind of arrived and I started. And I ended up feeling like I was not in charge of this piece of music. It was basically dictating <laughs> what need, And I just had to do the work. And, and I kept thinking, okay, once I've done this, I'm nearly done. It ended up being 17 minutes long, which is the 17-minute <laughs> uh, Grey Man suite. I finally finished this thing. And 
it just it almost became it got so out of control it almost stopped being about gray man and became this personal mission to like when am i going to end this piece of music and all along i was thinking <laughs> this is so ridiculous spending six months what happens if joe and anthony go hey this is a really cool piece of music but yeah maybe totally not right this movie that's six months of my life it's, it's one thing to spend two weeks on something and chuck it in the bin if it's not really the right thing but um you know, V a couple of times was like, are you sure you don't want to just send them just like 30 seconds of this thing? Because Joe and Anthony are great like that. They can just hear something straight away, not even to picture anything and just go tonally. Yep, you know, we're in the right place. Or like, you know, it's a swing and a miss kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I just got so protective of it. I'm, like, I'm, this, I'm not showing anyone this until the whole thing is completely finished and engineered. And, you know, it became this private obsession. So anyway, it comes to uh, November or December or whatever. Joe and Antti on the phone. Okay, so we finished shooting, getting a bit of a first cut going. Let's talk music. You know. And I was like, well, I've got a little confession to make, which is that I have <laughs> secretly been, uh, you know, in the laboratory and I've got a 17-minute suite I've been working on. Like, <laughs> Joe nearly lost it. He's like, oh, my God, I need to hear it, like, immediately. And I said, the thing is, Joe, uh, it, it's almost like a psychological problem because whilst it belongs to me and I don't have to play it to anyone, I can relax about it. The minute I send it to you, I'm just not going to sleep until I get a reaction because I may have wasted like seven months of my life. <laughs> it's oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm going to love it. I'm going to say, yeah, you might, you might not love it. So I said, let me have one more night. Good. One more night's good sleep. And I'll send it to you in the morning. Otherwise I'm just not going to. You know. So I send it to the guys the next day. Uh, and I think Joe was even reacting in real time. He was listening and texting me in real time on his first <laughs> listing. Oh, I love it. Oh, the space line's awesome. And then Anthony called. This is just, this literally sounds like how it, it, it they were like this is how this is this is what gray man should be but it was beyond how we could imagine it which is the ultimate compliment you know uh for composers so thank god otherwise i would have explained to my partner hey we we, we could have taken a six month holiday with the newborn in the cook islands instead you know if they didn't like it say so, well what the hell was that six months for <laughs> 